Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out the old again here. We got wins with every character. We're just getting our danger level five wins with the remaining four. So, old has minus 25% enemy speed down, plus 10 harvesting, minus 33% map size, minus 10% enemies, minus 10% speed. They're a strange one. They're a very strange one. I don't quite know what to do with them. You know, obviously engineering is good, but we've already done that. That's how we got this uh, this win right here. I kind of want to go rock, just because, like, who else can go rock is kind of my mentality with that. You know, let's give it a shot. Uh, rock slows you down a hell of a lot, and enemies already have minus 25% speed, so maybe we can kind of balance out that weirdness and use the tankiness that this item gives us to our advantage. We'll see. New enemies appear, inflation's higher, enemies are stronger, enemies drop less materials, and two bosses appear at once. Two bosses on this small of a map sounds like trash. <laughs> it's, I'll be honest. Like, I'm not too, I don't know. I'm not too worried about this character. At least I wouldn't be if I wasn't playing rock, which I think is, I think is a bad weapon. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to really see here. Uh, I'll take some percentage damage. It's a very slow weapon. Uh, it scales pretty well in flat damage. The critical uh, critical damage is not that high, but it does scale up an extra 5% crit chance with every uh, tier. So it scales well as a weapon that you don't do anything to, if that makes sense. Like, if you just, if your hands are off the wheel and you just kind of let the game do its thing. Rocks are also super cheap, which is really nice, which is why we can, like, roll like a son of a gun to find about a million of them. Um, if you just take your hands off the wheel and you're not influencing your damage at all, and you're just collecting lots of uh, a weapon, and you just have this up to legendary without ever buying damage, it might be one of the better ones. But... Just the, the very, very slow nature of it, the, the bad, like, terrible, terrible range of it, um, and the fact that it does reduce our speed by, like, 15% at max means that it's a little bit tricky. What do I get? Should I get harvesting? I'm going to get harvesting early. I'll do a little bit of early harvesting. Just trying to abuse the double stuff here. We definitely want to get some attack speed. As a very slow weapon that scales very well, uh, just naturally, a good thing for us to do is just to attack a lot faster. Like, as, sim as simple as that. Like, if it does good damage by itself, we just need to make sure it hits more enemies. But we should go over all of the uh, weird status stuff that we do get from the set bonus, because it's got both primitive, which is a 15% HP, and then, what is it, heavy? Blunt. Blunt, which gives you three armor, six max HP, and minus 15% speed. Pretty darn good if you can deal with that speed down, which I'm going to attempt to do. God, I wish that was something useful. See, I could go for melee damage, but I just feel... Sure, I'll take... Yeah, I'll take a 9% dodge there. Boom, boom. What else we got? I'll lock another one. Hell, I'll take a million of these. I know that we don't really want to reduce our percentage damage too much because it is a good weapon to scale up with percentage. Uh, but coffee is just a really good item. I don't know what to say. It's just 10% attack speed for that penalty. It's just, it's just really good. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That is just a very, very good trade. And we can, um, we can always find a way to offset 2% damage here and there. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm also always kind of surprised that coffee doesn't give you a little bit of move speed up. I was kind of thinking, I, I'm kind of glad it's not this way because I like it how it is. I was thinking the item would get like um, a little bit of an attack speed nerf, but then it would gain like movement speed or something on top of it. Like a little bit of attack speed, a little bit of move speed, minus 2% damage. It would, I would consider that probably a nerf, but hey, uh, we're really going to want HP regen, more attack speed. We're going to be throwing out a million rocks. Uh, alien eyes could be good. Sure. 
God, I love how cheap rocks are. It is so nice to be able to just roll and roll and roll and keep on buying them. 12 bucks. Pretty good. You know, fist, uh, fist, hand, slingshot, I think, to an extent. They're all very, very cheap tools, which is really nice. I think stick as well is pretty darn cheap. Like, all of those, it's it's pretty nice to have them be, oh boy, so affordable. Get up to higher tier a lot easier than you would on other weapons. Need to get a little bit, a little bit less lucky with these weapons to still reach maximum. Speaking of, I do want to get the 15 luck while it's there. And if you're going to hit me with those rares of things I want, I'll I'll take it. Uh, hammer's interesting. I'm not good, not interesting enough to take. Screw you, but... Uh, bup, 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 bup. Blue tier of rock gives you one armor. I think purple gives you health on top of that. Legendary... I'm not sure if I know. Legendary weapons are new to early access. So it's hard to say for sure. I would imagine it might. Might give you two armor at legendary. Maybe. Maybe it just gives you more health. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision, the boy. Beat him to death with the rock. Beat him to death with the rock. I mean, yeah, look at this. We're doing good damage, and we've really not taken very much damage up. In fact, technically, we've only really taken damage down. I'd love to see it. We can do better. Uh, Start with the armor. Ooh, wait. Okay. Those are so good to find early. I hope desperately that we get enough money here. Like, get done with it. We need to get really up in everybody's face. Collect all money. Collect all money. All money, all money, all money. Recycle whatever that is. I don't even care what. Because getting, um, getting that ring as early as possible is really big. I doubt we're going to get enough money for it. But I wanted to get the experience gain because getting that early is also really good. Like, I was trying to be a little bit greedy. Hoping that we could get them both as early as possible. Maybe with our harvesting. Maybe with our harvesting? 197. I think that's good. For luck. That's good. Oh, it's, it's freaking perfect. It's freaking perfect. Okay. Okay. 3% damage up after every wave. Starting at wave 8 is so good. Obviously. Like, you do not need to be a master strategist to understand the earlier you get that item, the better it is. So the fact that we were able to get, like, that and Bean Teacher, which, uh, the only penalty is Lifesteal, which, let me tell you, if you're going Lifesteal on rocks... I don't know, man. It's probably not the best. Like, you can make anything work, especially if you're playing on, like, danger level one or something. You can literally just make anything work and be like, wow, this game's easy. But, whoop, that might work. I, you know, when you have a slow weapon, you probably don't want things that proc a one heal very much. Just trying to greed as much money as I can. Um, I, you, you know, sure. On this character, sure. Which are we? 10? Fine. For free, I'll take it. And then I'm going to greed with a little bit more luck. Get a little bit of uh, epic speed up there. Boom, bang. Dangerous bunny. I do like it. How many rolls is it? Recycling machine? How much? We have 40 luck. I have 40 luck. Recycling machine should actually pay for itself. Even paying full price like that. Again, one of my favorite items to get from a crate, ironically. 
Okay, there's one crate. Not that it's gonna matter. We don't have the recycling machine yet. A little bit of a rough wave for us here. Being a little bit of a slower individual. Making it happen though, making it happen, making it happen. So we can, uh, we can handle, ooh, tunnel vision. We should be tanky enough to be able to tunnel vision. Not every run has the, uh, fortunate situation where you can, but we're just so tanky from all of our rocks. It's beautiful. We can just literally run into their faces, smack them. You know, that feels in nature with the care. Ah, shoot, I wish I had my... In nature with the character. I'll take some flat damage. I'll take some attack speed. And then maybe we'll start to go for like a little bit more survivability. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not good. We, we can't do that. We can't get rid of all of our survivability. But 20 luck on wave 10, it's hard to say no to. Now I think we pivot to taking lots of tankiness, uh, especially maybe some flat melee damage since we have the Vigilante Ring. Already kind of naturally doing our percentage damage upgrades for us. Survivability, attack speed. Honestly, maybe some range. I know everybody's like, I read the note and it says range on melee is bad. Yes and no. Like, I, <laughs> I, it's funny when I'm the one who's told that, like, back in the demo, I am the reason that that note is there. <laughs> like, I am the reason that note is there. After my extensive times trying to explain it in every single video. However, what it fails to explain is, uh, no. I, I have recycling. I'd rather take the free stuff. What it fails to explain is that range is not useless on a melee weapon. Being able to pierce through enemies and hit them all is huge. So, when you have a weapon that... Okay, yeah, I mean, this is good. When you have a weapon that has a really big cooldown, like even after all the attack speed upgrades, this still takes an entire second to charge up every time. You don't mind having that range up as much. Ooh, that gets us out of the hole. But it's a little bit spooky. Yeah, I'm going to stand by this for sure in the beginning here. We're going to need to make sure we get some more HP regen to make up for that. Like we got some good items and we're doing lots of damage. All things considered. Boop, boop, boop. We want our rock to hit more enemies. Like each second delay of the weapon, we want to make sure that it goes further, both literally and figuratively. We want it to do more for us. We want it to go further for us since it's such a big charge up. If we're talking like, um, cause like the reason I, I talked about it so extensively is I modded in a weapon called the claw, which was the fastest weapon in the game, melee weapon in the game by far, but it did not very good damage and had not very high range. Uh, that was the thing. And that making that weapon is how I learned about hmm, such an extensively rough. No, I don't want more enemies correlation between the two stats and that's why i talked about it a lot but it's not um it's it's just i don't know i just want to stop this thing where like whenever i go into a twitch uh twitch chat and i see somebody else playing brotato like and the chats are just like you freaking idiot why are you not taking rain or why are you not tanking your range it's like it is good but there's some situations where it is worth it to take range. There is. I want to make that known and I want to make that clear. Uh, there are some situations, not always, some situations where having range on melee weapon is good. It being potentially like, you know, a little bit slower, heftier weapons where the cooldown is so long anyways that 
that travel time is almost a non-factor. Like, if you have to factor in a flat amount of travel time to every attack, and you want to, like, you have a cooldown that's attacking every 0.1 second, but the travel time is 0.2 seconds, that's a really big deal. But it's not as big of a deal when the cooldown is a second and the travel time is 0.2 seconds. So you see what I'm saying? Like, do I want to take a lot of range? Probably not. Like, I don't want to go for a million, but it's just not, um... It's not a situation where there's no points, is kind of what I want to make clear. It is, it's a case-by-case -case basis. It says, uh, regen, right? Yeah, okay. I took it because I, I kind of wanted regen. Going for a sad tomato when you have negative regen initially is a little bit scary. I want to make sure that I get a lot more regen to make it so it's easier to get back up to full. On top of the fact that, like I said, lifesteal is not the best for this guy. Or not the best for the, uh, for rocks. Though if we get a lot of range, it honestly could work okay. Like, we pierce through a whole bunch of enemies. It could be okay. I also wouldn't mind, um, just another lifesteal, or life healing turret. Wouldn't mind that one bit. Oh, my clump. Let's just kind of stand here. Hopefully get all the money we can. Greet it a bit near the end. There we go. No bad. No bad. No bad. Um, I got to be honest. I just hate all of these items. I literally, I actually kind of just wish they weren't in the pool. <laughs> if I'm going to be real. I kind of just wish they didn't exist. I find the use case for them so minimal. It's basically like they only exist for the soldier, in my eyes. Which makes it super annoying to find them in other situations. Like, at the very least on Danger Level 5, if you're standing still, you're dead, dude. You're, you're dead. <laughs> you just... Maybe you can make it work on the, the, the bull? Or Masochist? You could make, maybe make something like that work for the first half of the uh, the waves. Other than that, I just don't know about it, man. I think it's a trap. In 99% of scenarios. Could be wrong. Haven't experimented with them too much, but... I just... I don't ever see myself wanting to stand still. To have a 20% chance to dodge the damage that's incoming. Right? 15 max HP for 5 enemy speed. Do we have snail? No. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Get a little bit of luck. Obliterator. What the hell? I don't have any range damage. I have negative range damage, and it scales 1,000% off of range damage. So having negative seems like a dumb idea. It's something I want to go for, but it's not something I want to go for right now. Uh, wave 15, where are we at? Last roll, but I really shouldn't have even done that one. I'll take Blood Leech. It's a little expensive, but we're pretty desperate for that regen. I love the healing turret on the small map. It's the only engineering thing I'll take. The other stuff, I, I feel like I'm kind of just straying a little bit too close to the other build I already did. At least. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trying to kill the babies. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. It's not our wave. Not our wave. But you know what? We're pretty tanky. As a result of all the rocks and all the tanky stuff that we've been getting. So we can kind of just handle it. Good dodge as well. Dodge stat. Not my dodge skills. I'm doing nothing. I'm literally walking into them with a bunch of rocks and hoping it works. And guess what? It is. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, this is one of those runs where you outbuild the need to play. Uh, that's worth. That's totally worth. Get some attack speed. 
Blood Leech, Cyclops Worm. I can handle a little bit of a range penalty. Wouldn't mind getting a slight range up as a re result, though. Boop, 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 boop. What's our attack speed? What's the cooldown? 0.86. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Boy. Feeling pretty good. The rocks are doing some work. I mean, that early vigilante ring doing a lot for us, I'm sure. Like, I didn't, I didn't sit down and do the math for how much it was going to do for us, but it's basically a, uh, at the very least, bare minimum, it was a uh, glass cannon with no downside, like with no arm, armor reduction. So that's pretty good. It's just one item, though. One item does not a run make unless it's Retromation's hoodie. Which I would love to get. I have so much dodge. Imagine. Uh, do I need more damage? I wouldn't mind more percentage damage, actually. It's it's kind of climbing slow. No. Candle I will take. I, I wanna I wanna experiment with just having a lot less enemies. We have 82 harvesting. So we can afford to remove some enemies. Won't be that big of a deal. I hate when the buffers get those guys. It is always a nightmare. Old man uses rock. It is super effective. How do these guys not die in 123 damage? I, I want to nerf on those guys, not because I truly think they're that bad, but because it makes no sense. When I look at them, I'm like, that's not an enemy that should have a more than 120 health. You know what I'm saying? I They always have more health than they really feel like they're supposed to, visually. This is awkward. But yeah, maybe if we just get so tanky and reduce the amount of enemies that spawn by so much... There just won't be enough enemies to do enough damage to me to kill me. You know? Baby Gecko's not a dumb idea. I just don't want it. What's my speed at? I'm already at negative 10? Oh my god. Which number 15? That would, um... And put me in line with the enemies for speed. Kind of be a net neutral. I don't know about that. Oh, out. Stand by this freaking turret as much as I can without dying. Ow. I hate this part of the wave. It's okay. It's the trickier part of the wave. Trying as much as I can to tunnel vision the buff boys when I move as slow as I do. Okay. We've entered uh, the second part of the phase of the wave. I consider this phase not as bad. There we go. Not to mention, we, we missed a lot of dodges. Like, how much dodge percentage do we have? 36. Didn't feel like it. All right. Man. Love phase two of this wave. Absolutely. I, like, no part of the entire run feels like more of a break. Uh, 112 bucks for five speed. The scales off of 5% engineering. No is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, yeah. I'll take that for sure. Tree? Do we have tree? Can we have one tree? I really like that on this size map. Metal detector, eh, a little bit late. Ninety-nine health. 
I am terrified to see what the boss wave is going to look like. On this small of a map. You would not think we have 20% less enemies. Jesus. Is it 20%? I think it's 20%, right? Between candle and uh, the base. If you told me this was 20%, I would call you a liar. Like, sure, there's more because we're not killing as much as we could. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. We, we're basically just sitting here hoping we have the stuff to, to make it work, and the good news is we did. Uh, I don't really want to lose armor right now. Huge. Huge get. Okay. All right. How the hell is this going to go? Tiny map. I don't think... We're not going to get killed. I mean, this guy is going to sit around us. But, like, I don't think I should even modify my movement to be near him to try and make it happen. Is kind of what I'm getting at. Like, I think that's a trap for us. His health is not going down fast enough for me to think I have a shot to kill him that way. This is so obviously an outlast, at la like an outlast the boss run. The more I try to kill this guy, like I'm not going to be able to chase him down with my movement speed. So the more I try and kill him, the faster he's going to get into the phase that messes me up. At least will mess me up on this tiny little map. With him bouncing around like a freaking Windows screensaver. Oh, God. Alright. Alright. Is this really... Is this 20% less? Yeah, maybe it is. Alright, we got 8 seconds. We should be fine. We should be fine. What the hell? Walk up in there. Yeah. That's rocks for you. I don't know. I can't believe he went for tankiness. It's a rock build, man. Like, I haven't done a rock run yet, and if you're doing a rock run, you're going tank. You know, if you're not abusing the 15 free max HP, three armors, six max HP, and the plus one armor, uh, plus two max HP on the rocks, on this, on this weapon, then I don't know what it's really doing for you. Is kind of... You might as well play literally anything else if you're not going to try and leverage the tankiness. Um, but yeah, it, I think it, it worked pretty much exactly how I thought it would. Um, because it, it gives a lot of benefits, but the blunt set bonus giving you the minus 15% speed is a really big deal. So you kind of need to have it on a character who can deal with that. And this is a character who can deal with that. You know, minus 25% enemy speed. It's no joke. Like, especially if we would have gotten something like um, Snail, we could have played around with it probably even a little bit more. Would have been uh, would have been nice. But now we only got three characters left that we got to get a victory on on Danger Level 5. I've been saving these ones. I'm not super excited for them. I know some people are saying uh, multitask or engineer. It's, it's do it. You don't get the penalty for the damage down on the engineering. I know. I talked about them in my last video. I think it's genuinely... A, uh, a massive, massive trap, though. So I don't know quite what I'm going to be doing for the multitasker yet. We already did the stick run. I don't want to just do a stick run again. Like, I'm curious. I mean, we could maybe do like a... Oh, they don't even let you start with hand. What? But I don't know. Going for like a... Uh... I don't know. Maybe we could try and do a taser into flamethrower knockback run imagine like uh trying to abuse the system to get 12 flamethrowers it'd be so expensive but it could be doable and um like with the knockback we could just make it so no enemy literally gets to be by me that could be that could be an option i don't know saver 
I just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. It's just, it's not really my play style. Just hold on to lots of money so that you have lots of damage. Uh, Doctor will be interesting. I, I don't think it'll be too bad. I mean, we obviously, we went on danger level three. Should be fine. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. After we're done with all the danger level fives, I, had, I saw some people concerned that we were going to be done with Brotato after that. Uh, as of right now, that's not the plan. Like, if you guys stop watching, that would be the plan. But uh, I fully intend to do some more wacky danger level one runs on, uh, on different characters. Like, going for runs that would be not possible on danger level five, but might be possible on danger level one. Like, because they're a little bit weirder, like an engineer multitasker run. I feel like that'd be more of a danger level one thing. I absolutely think you could do that on danger level one. Uh, but it's just not as good as sticks or something. Either way, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelix more every single day. If you decide to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. And hey, you know what? I never plug it. I also stream on Twitch. Did you know that? Twitch.tv slash Retromation. Go follow over there. Every Monday, I do a roguelike roulette, which is basically me spinning a wheel of, like, what? how much are on there? Like, like 200 different roguelikes or roguelites. Uh, and then I play whatever we land on. So go check that out. Wednesday, we do some multiplayer stuff, showcase new multiplayer games, things like that. Uh, so go give that a follow over there at twitch.tv slash Retromation. Bye-bye!